This exhibit is called Unity. This is one of the eight exhibits in the Thiokol Memorial Project Museum. This quilt represents the common thread that holds us together as one nation, one people. When Camden County was struck by the worst disaster in its history, the Thiokol Chemical Plant Explosion of 1971, all of these cities came together to overcome that disaster. Ray Cross, after the explosion, the fire marshal came to test and see if there was any, to investigate to see if there was any um, foul play done in this uh, disaster. Savannah, Savannah police brought 45 pints of blood to the Brunswick Memorial Hospital. That was because we were under the um, Swanee blood district and we were short on blood. There were 600 workers at the plant. The blood supply was low. And so the Savannah police, escorted by the Georgia State Patrol, brought blood to the Brunswick Hospital. Hinesville, Hinesville is the home of the U.S. Army and that's who the workers were making the munitions for. The Army came to the Thiokol plant and went to the ground with the regional fire departments to help put out the fire. Folkestone, Folkestone is home to most of the Thiokol plant workers, which were women. At that time, most people did not have cars in 1971. Thiokol was very ingenious. They would have a bus pick up workers in Waycross. That bus would be uh, routed through Folkestone, then through Kingsland, and on to the plant. They had other buses coming from Brunswick, Jacksonville, and Fernandina to help the workers to get to work. Folkestone, in this disaster, sent their fire department and activated their hospital, the Jackson McCoy Hospital, where they received injured workers. Brunswick, Brunswick was the first outside city to respond to the 1971 emergency. John Ritter took off from St. Simons Island with his helicopter to rescue people. Glencoe, that was a Navy air station, they came and responded. Brunswick Police, Glen County Police, and Brunswick Fire Department. They all came to help us in the disaster. St. Mary's, St. Mary's is the home of Gilman Hospital. Their fire and police department came and uh, they responded to the fire. Darian, I had spoken with the Darian mayor of that time in 1971, and he said that he stood upon the bridge and saw the plume from the explosion. They had two fire departments in the Darien McIntosh County area, and they sent Cox Fire Department to respond to the fire. Blackshare, the city of Blackshare was a good neighbor. We had 29 people to die from the explosion, and what Blackshare did, they got with uh, Valdosta and Albany, and they brought Hearst to this region to give the people their final rights. Woodbine, Woodbine is the home of the Woodbine Thiokol chemical plant. It was the affected city. It was the city that President Nixon sent the telegram to extending his condolences and the condolences and heartfelt prayers of the nation. Kingsland, Kingsland was that first city in. Chief Peoples, after being called by Mrs. Peoples, to respond to Thiokol. His unit was the first unit to respond to the fire. Once he arrived on site that morning, he radioed back to the city of Kingsland and told Miss Peoples to send everybody. It was something like he'd never seen. He'd been out there a month before where Building 111 went down, but when he got there on the morning of February the 3rd, 200 acres of the 7,400 acres was on fire and munitions were um, detonated. Ferndina, it's important to know the history of Ferndina in this uh, emergency. Ferndina was the good neighbor. They put up a distress signal and that distress signal was intercepted by Jacksonville. But before they pulled out, we have their records, Ferndina Fire Department brought three units 
they joined with Yuli Fire Department and they all came across the Blue Bridge together. They stood up the hospital in Ferndina after putting up the distress that was intercepted by Jacksonville. So Ferndina and Yuli, both units, came across the Blue Bridge because I-95 wasn't finished. Jacksonville, Jacksonville, um, after they intercepted the call, intercepted the distress from Ferndina. And before they activated, a phone call between Mayor Tanza of Jacksonville and Mayor Daly of St. Mary's took place. The mayors had a conversation where Mayor Daly told Mayor Tanza, the fire call had blown up, it was 600 workers, and he only had a 19 room, 38 bed hospital, and he needed him to bring Jackson Avis and Cecil Field uh, so that people could, the workers, injured workers, could be uh, medevaced to Jacksonville. So the city of Jacksonville stood up five hospitals, their fire and police department was activated, Jack's Naval and Cecil Field, the Navy and the Coast Guard were activated, the blood bank was activated uh, on 8th Street, and uh, the Florida State Patrol and the city of Jacksonville Police, they lined the roadway to direct emergency uh, vehicles to the hospitals for the workers that were injured. The city of Jessup, the city of Jessup, we've talked with their first responders. One of them is named Don Wellen. And Don said that they received a call from Sheriff Smith requesting that they respond. Jessup came here with three units in the afternoon of February the 3rd in the pouring rain because they were asked to come by the Sheriff of Camden County. That Sheriff's office, after they received the radio call, the radio call from Fire Call was Sue Brown radio calling Miss um, Peoples. Once they got that call, the sheriff was called and the command center for this emergency was taken over by the sheriff's department in Woodbine. Alma, Alma, the city of Alma, the county of Bacon County, they sent their fire units here to thigh call. It's 91 miles from Alma center, center, center City to the front gates of Thiokol. These are the cities that responded. The 16th city would be Charleston. When we first started the project, we had to do more research. The 29th person died at the Muse in Charleston, South Carolina in the month of March. These cities represent the cities that will be in the national park that we're planning. Their artifacts will be put in a quarters dedicated to each city. So you have 16 cities, there were 14 hospitals. Each hospital replica will be in the museum, museum along with the workers' artifacts. So as one unit, of unity, we are planning a national monument, the Fire Call Memorial National Monument with the 16 cities, the 14 hospitals, the 600 workers, and the 7,400 acre layout of the Fire Call site. These are the people that overcame the worst disaster in the history of Camden County, a disaster which is ranked number 10 out of 100 in the last 100 years. Thank you for visiting.